The Torah tells us clearly that the reason that the brothers sold Yosef as a slave to Egypt was on account of their jealousy of him. Now the brothers were very righteous people and they remained so after the incident. Their names are engraved in the breastplate of the Kohen Godel and they engraved in our, in our psyches. They engraved in the Jewish people as being the holy tribes, the holy tribes of the Jewish people, the forerunners, the forefathers of the Jewish people. They remain holy people to us. However, they made this terrible mistake, this terrible mistake, mistake which had such terrible consequences. They, they caused such suffering, such terrible suffering. Besides the unwarranted suffering to Yosef, he had to be a slave in Egypt, in a very lowly country, lowly, amongst lowly people. And he had to sit 12 years in a dungeon, a dungeon which was a hole in the ground, 12 years of living in a hole in the ground, an Egyptian dungeon of ancient days. And the suffering they caused their father, their father mourned for Yosef, he couldn't be consoled for 22 years, he cried for Yosef. And more than everything, the suffering they caused to themselves, to the entire Jewish people. Because were it not for this incident, the Jewish people would have been delayed from going to Egypt for decades. According to the sages, they might even have avoided being slaves in Egypt at all. Our slavery in Egypt is also as a result of this horrible mistake. And all along, they were totally unaware that it was their fault. They thought they'd acted justly. For 22 years, they were convinced they did the right thing in getting rid of Yosef. They lived with this, with this mistake. Yet it was their fault. It was their fault and it was jealousy. And the message is very powerful and very clear to us. When things go wrong in our lives, when bad things happen to us, we are to blame. It's choices we've made, decisions we've made, and attitudes that we've taken, rooted mostly, normally, in bad conduct, bad behavior, and it's indulging in negative traits, allowing our negative traits to take over, whether it's feeling of hatred, feelings of lust, and one of the worst of all is jealousy. We should realize every time that we feel angry at someone else, every time we feel resentful of anyone else, it's most likely a type of jealousy that's stirring in us. We're all plagued by jealousy. But we have to know that when we give in to negative traits, they cause terrible harm, irreparable harm. And we need to suffer. We suffer as a consequence for, these, for, for indulging in these negative traits. We are responsible for bad things that happen to us. Let's use the message of the brothers to try and strengthen ourselves in terms of working on our character, becoming more noble people, forgiving people, happy people. Let's get rid of all resentment for anyone, no matter what he's done to us, no matter how he's hurt us. Let's, let's, let's clear our hearts of any resentment of any, any person, because the one who we're going to hurt the most by harboring negative attitudes, ne negative traits, negative characteristics, the one we're going to harm the most is ourselves and possibly our closest, our family and friends. We have to strive to be righteous people, tzaddikim. We have to strive for positive traits in all areas of our lives. Let's focus on it, let's work on it for our benefit and for the benefit of the Jewish people, for this world and for the next.